talk about some artists uh, who take kind of a different approach to providing artistic entertainment. Uh, dust off your sketch pad and pencils. We're going to introduce you to a local art club that is sketching its way through the tri-state. Allie met them at one of our city's new landmarks to learn more. Right now we are at the new Art Climb um, at the Art Museum of Cincinnati with the beautiful new steps in the background. This is um, a beautiful new addition to this area. Um, and what we're doing is we're sketching. Every couple weeks, the urban sketchers of Cincinnati meet at one of our beautiful locations in the tri-state, capturing the landscapes with a variety of mediums ranging from pen to pencil to watercolor and crayon. And it doesn't matter the skill level because everyone brings a different perspective to the table. So if you're just starting, I totally recommend coming out, even if you have never drawn anything before but you wanted to. Uh, we have had folks come out with their little kids, school at home art class, they'll come to an urban sketching outing. And that's great to see. And then the parents get into drawing too, just as a way to do that. The outings have been as small as two people and as large as 40. And the most satisfying moment is everyone's big reveal. Well, we draw for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And then what we try to do on a normal day is get together someplace where there's good light. We do a throwdown. We throw down our sketchbooks with the sketch that we did. We take photographs of that for people to see. And then we post that online. That's a big part of urban sketching is we want to see the sketches online so people elsewhere in the world can see what we are renderings of Cincinnati. That's the other thing. Urban Sketchers is a global group. It originally started in Seattle and has expanded around the world. So it's also a great opportunity to showcase what our city has to offer. Doing a screenshot right now. Telling people, trust me, there is no judgment. There is zero judgment when it comes to sketching. Um, even if you've literally just bought a sketchbook yesterday, we want you to come because it's not about how good you are. It's about getting out and seeing our city from different perspectives and being around people that have the same hobbies and passions and interests as you. But even then, it's, it's seeing everybody's different um, views on things. You know, how I look at this is going to be completely different how Jeb looks at this. Even if you're on the fence a little bit, you're embarrassed about your drawing skills, come and do it. You will have a great time and you will learn a lot. Uh, but as for urban sketching in Cincinnati, you wouldn't believe how many cool places there are to draw in this city that we live in and take for granted so much. Allie, that's fascinating. So, so let's talk yeah. quickly about how many places they've, they've hit, how, how long they've been doing this again and how many places have they hit? So it's been around for a while. I believe um, it was 2012. That they started oh, okay. um but it's also as uh jeb mentioned it's a it's a global organization and global group but they they hit anywhere from the zoo as you saw the image of marymont they, they go to the zoo a lot to downtown roebling bridge but i think what also makes it really cool is it's a pretty large group of people um so everybody has a different perspective and as you can see throughout this piece that everyone was parked up all throughout the steps and the stairs, so their final product is going to be totally different than the person sitting next to them. Um, and that also helps with being socially distant. <laughs> so, so Ali, you create, you create art with the camera. I've seen you do it. I've been there with you when you've done it. What did, so looking at what they were doing, did you get the, you get the yin to kind of join them? I, I did actually, um, you know, personally growing up, I, I really enjoy, I just enjoy art. I enjoy creating a composition and that's probably why I personally like the camera. Um, I'm more of just that quick pencil, pen and paper. Um, it, it is, a, I think a little intimidating. And of course I asked that question, you know, what do you have to tell someone who might be new to it or who used to love art and they're trying to get back into it and everyone was so encouraging. There was even uh, one or two people, there were one or two people who that was their first time going. Um, so some of them had the watercolors and it was just saying that it was very inviting. And then at the end of it all, you they've been doing a Zoom meeting where they will show and reveal right. all of their final images. So it did, it kind of, it kind of got those, the different creative juices flowing a little bit and, and made me want to be creative in a different way. Okay. It was pretty cool. 
Yeah, it yeah. was. And follow him on Facebook, too. That's that's the best way to go about in, in terms of where to find the times and where they're meeting um, and to see everybody else's artwork. All right. It's really a great way to showcase our city. Okay, Ali, thanks a lot.